GoPro, stop recording. GoPro, stop recording. GoPro, stop recording. GoPro, stop recording. Please. Please stop recording. GoPro, stop recording. GoPro, stop recording. GoPro, stop recording. Oh, cut, cut, cut. I said stop record. GoPro, stop recording. Hey, had about two hours sleep trying to upload this video. It's uh, It's been taking a long time. I split the video in two because it was like an hour and 18 minutes. So I went ahead and split it into two. Um, one was at 6 p.m. on uh, Friday, and then the other one was going to post like noon on Saturday. I'm doing that because I'm probably going to be busy until around 11, then I can share the video at noon. Um, at, uh, <laughs> I got into editing this and when I do editing guys, I really enjoy it. I really do. And I want to add extra stuff into it. So when you're, when I'm watching a video, I want to see some extra stuff. I don't just want to see a plain Jane. Like a lot of people just throw something together. Like we want to hurry up and get it done. They have to, they have to meet a, a quota. Um, I still have to meet my, one of my Sundays and Wednesday videos. Uh, I still do my vlogs. I still do my throwback Thursdays now. And I do two lives a week. So I do a lot of videos, but I'm ahead of the game, like a month and a half on, on by a month and a quarter on my videos. So up to a month and a half. So when I once I get to a month, then I start doing Thursday videos and getting those ready to go. Because I'm not really worried about getting to Thursday, the throwback Thursdays. I want to make sure I get Sundays and Mondays and go live. Well, Sundays and Wednesdays and go live. Uh, but when I'm editing, um, it used to be the vlogs only took like an hour or two. Um, and my regular videos take like two to four. Now the vlogs are taking like four to five to six because I'm adding extra content in there and stuff that I just won't think is really funny if you ask me. Um, but I want to put extra content in there because I think that uh, my time is important. So I treat other people like that. So your time is important. You could be doing anything else you want to do, um, but you're watching the video. So that's why I put extra stuff in the videos. Um, still waiting for this one to upload. Um, this, like I said, this one is going to be Friday at 6 p.m. Central Time. So if you haven't saw that, there's vlog one and there's vlog two because it was an hour, 18 minutes. And some people don't like the really long ones, but that's what I said. But I'm going to go ahead and get this stuff downloaded, the stuff that I did today, and start editing to a video for another day. So I'm going to try to do like two or three days in one and then vlog it instead of doing a vlog every single day. But this one, I had so much content since it was a four, five hour drive. Um, just had a lot of content. Uh, when I'm by myself, it won't be a lot, but Taj was with me. So I had some fun and turned out to be those five hours, turned out to be a whole two days worth of vlogs. So. Just, that's what I've been doing, sitting here waiting like this. Well, I got in the car to uh, hit a buffet because I have a challenge in like 20 hours. So I do a buffet, uh, stretch with food beforehand, and then drink lots of fluids. Uh, well, I got in the car. I started the car to warm it up and it said low fuel. So I shut it off, waited for Tasha to get back from to get her nails done. And um, so I started back and it says 406 miles to go. That's like a full tank. And now it says zero. I guess the engine light's on because it's telling me something's wrong with the fuel pump. Or the fuel uh, indicator so I'll uh, I will have to see what's going on with that uh, I don't think it's a big issue but I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop by AutoZone and uh, 
Yeah, I'm gonna stop by AutoZone and uh, see if that's the problem. Somebody's trying to honk me because trying to get gas and I already pulled up here. All right, GoPro, stop recording. Now that I'm thinking about it, I'm thinking Tasha might have came out there late at night to sabotage my car so I wouldn't leave. Even though I'm staying here till the 8th when we go to Florida for a birthday. But you never know. I think she was out there taking with my car so I just would be stuck in the house. Man, I cannot wait to eat this freaking good Chinese food. Um, Tasha likes to come here for the price and the quality. It's a really good uh, overall deal. So I'm coming up here. It looks like they are they are not open. And they got a uh, security lock on the door, just like my truck lock. Uh, let me see what that's about pretty swanky to have a lock like that because if you didn't saw my truck my my work truck my work truck actually has a has a hasp and a lock on the outside of it two of them uh i'm not saying the truck's worth anything but when i'm in it maybe it's worth a lot if you ask me but look they got a they got a lock on the door this looks like somebody kicked it in before well, I'm not going here to eat. That's what she said. Quite a lot. All right, let me hit the road and see where else I can go. Looks like Grand Buffet Sushi and Grill is where we're going. If people figure out where to park. Come on, caddy. Okay. Well, I'm at the um, Grand Buffet Sushi and Grill. Uh, Tasha recommended this. Highly recommended. Well, yeah, my highly issues good. with my GoPro. I've been um, it deleted all my files from today from this this GoPro. So uh, I had to reformat the disc, and it yeah wiped it clean. So I am going to uh, see what I can piece together for you guys. Let me go in here and. Um, I already caused the scene, everybody's staring at me. Because usually, you know, who doesn't record this self eating? No! No! All right, I'm about to go get my food. Um, and I'll get back with you in about another 10 minutes. I'm gonna stock the table up. I didn't get a really big table this time. I got a, like a regular size table for four people uh, instead of a six person. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and just fill this up with maybe 12 plates instead of the usual 16 or so. And then I'll go back and get desserts. Uh, let me go get here and I'll show you my food when, I'm, um, when I got it plated on the table. Let me try this again. I've been having a lot of issues with this GoPro today, but I'm gonna show you the um, the buffet here and i'm glad i came here they have a really a lot of really good food here um, they have plenty of sushi um, i'm gonna get to that in a second somebody's up there and i don't want to bother him
Hey, there's all the food that's on the bar and I'm gonna go ahead and show you my table. I'm not trying to get anybody faces in here, so that's why I did it like that. Um, but I'm gonna get this and then start eating. <laughs> I'm only like about halfway through, but uh, but I just had to stop and tell you, um, food's delicious. Um, the, uh, the, the the char on the chicken really delicious. Like it just came off the grill and it probably just did. Um, all the food, if, as you saw before, it was glistening, uh, hot, uh, fresh. Only thing, like usually, it's the pizza, the cheese sticks, and stuff that's not even um, Asian food or China. It's not even their food. So it's just stuff warmed up, usually for kids that come that don't want the other stuff that thinks it's nasty. So I don't really rate those. That's just like frozen stuff that they heat up for, for people that don't want the food that they, they cook. But the food that they cook, freaking delicious, guys. So I'm gonna be end up doing a, a video here. They said I could in the back room there. So when Tasha feels better, right now she can, she'll probably eat half of this. So I'm not going to buffet and doing a mukbang on a half a plate of noodles. But when she gets to feeling better, we'll be in that back room all the way back there. And we will, well, I'll set up my tripods and we will do a, a whole slew of food and get Tasha's uh, particular eating style. And she will probably be more in depth of the food review. I'm gonna tell you chicken usually tastes like chicken. But if the char on that, I just told you, if I, if I described it like that, it's freaking delicious, okay? So uh, the ginger, Yes, I had to get the whole plate of, of ginger. Uh, I have the fish to go. I need to get tartar sauce for that. I got some stuffed uh, shrimp right here. Um, this right here, this cheese and spinach is gonna be delicious with the cheese and, and lobster. And the old rule of no cheese with fish, that should be in, out the window a long time ago. Oh, you put cheese on fish? McDonald's does it all the time. They make a million dollars on their fish sandwich, so. There's no rules in eating, folks. If you just don't like it, don't eat it. Um, but there's no rules, okay? There's no rules. But to don't touch my food. Okay, it's that time, guys. Um, only plate I have left is the junk plate, and that is my bones. Uh, and I clean all my plates, guys. All my plates are clean. I don't leave stuff on them like a lot of people do, okay? So, I'm gonna stack this. The uh, People like to see this, the plate stacked for some reason. of them 15 plates <laughs> the number of the day is 15 I'm not a good vampire Sesame Street okay count uh, I'm not good at impersonating people okay I keep it real yeah that's all I'm gonna drink the rest of this uh, water and um, head out of here um, head you already know with my channel, if you're watching it, that I do a lot of B-roll and uh, with vlogs, this is everyday life and it's still new, not, everyday life is not still new to me, but it's still new to me that I'm uh, uh, doing vlogs, but I'm doing pretty much everything, I've tried almost everything, keep it PG folks, uh, 
almost everything that I can put in here throughout the day. Like the problems I'm having with the, the GoPros that I'm thinking I'm having problems. I think I just figured it out. Um, I actually was having problems with my phone, so I shut it off and I haven't switched towers since I came from St. Louis. So I, I went ahead and shut it off because it was the, the, the quality of the uh, connection was lagging on Sprint. So I went ahead and reset it. Well, when I reset it, um, my GoPro settings that I had, actually I had reset before and I never reset my phone. So now it automatically updated my, um, <clears throat> my footage and my camera to my phone. I was like, why does my phones keep cutting on? Uh, what they're doing is as soon as I record something, it'll it'll cut the camera on by itself if, if I cut it off and it's by my GoPro app, if by my GoPro well, let's go by my cell phone, then it'll uh, it'll go ahead and record and then um, it'll shut the cameras back off. I didn't know why it was uh, doing that. I I was like, why is my phone? Why does the GoPros keep cutting on? I was like, shut off! I was screaming at him. So. Uh, got that figured out so now, now um, I'm a little more at ease okay um, but yeah I was going a little, a little haywire there I was like what the first of the year there's a virus or something to GoPro but what it is is just the uh, the software automatically uploading to the cloud so I don't lose the footage which I did lose some because it, it messed the SD card up when I closed the, uh, when I closed the app um, and try to reset the phone i mean the gopro so sorry guys i'm trying to drive and talk at the same time at the same at the same at the same time yeah i have to do that every time i say that you know it's ocd but i'm getting on the highway and um i'm still trying to work out this gopro max when i'm turning the corners i don't know if it if it shifted all the way over here while i was talking but when the when the horizon and everything changes it kind of pans out and, 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 and smoothly comes back in. Um, so when I'm turning, I noticed that when uh, Tasha and I was in the car, he got her. And I was like, well, when we're turning, you start talking then. <laughs> then it'll pan over to her and look like we try to do it. So it's a lot of, um, with new with new technology and stuff, um, you got to work out all the all the uh, stuff in it. And I've really never had too much technology because I'm so cheap. So this is pretty much kind of almost new to me with uh, GoPro stuff. Because the Hero 7 I had, I didn't know you could do voice commands or nothing because I didn't try anything with it. So, All right, guys, enough of jibber-jabbering. I will see you when I get to Tasha's house. I have something to talk to her about because I got the GoPro issue figured out, but my engine light's still on. Thinking somebody tampered with my car. Um, late last night maybe she got off work and snuck up under there and pulled some wires or something well i'm gonna get to the bottom of it <laughs> bags uh my bags away to a, a homeless guy here on the corner um it's still 60 degrees tomorrow's gonna be 48 i was gonna wait to give it to him but uh, he was sitting there and i didn't get me giving it to him like hey uh but this is the stuff that mike my buddy mike had bought uh there was a ten dollar gift card to mcdonald's uh there was a, a skull cap there's some gloves, there's two pairs of socks, there was candy in there. So uh, tomorrow's gonna be a little colder and then it's gonna get even colder. So uh, he can use that. So I wanna appreciate Mike for getting all that stuff and all I gotta do is hand it out. Um, I have some, I have another one back here, but I have about four more in the trunk of bags. They're already bagged up and ready to go. So I put it in the trunk. Um, but I have one right back here somewhere, but I'm driving and I'm not gonna go ahead and um, get that out. That's why I did place one on the seat so I can go ahead and get it out real quick. Just had to let you know that guys, if you have any clothes, anything, uh, jackets or anything that you are just gonna throw away, uh, bag them up, put them in the front seat in a bag. And when you see a homeless person, um, you don't always have to give them cash. I know they probably want cash, 
Uh, maybe they just want food. Maybe they want something warm. Uh, but they can stay out there longer to ask for more cash if they have something warmer to wear. So if you got like little blankets or something, uh, gloves, socks, uh, toothbrush, toothpaste, deodorant, uh, underwear, um, that stuff really comes in handy. Uh, skull caps, scarves, jackets. So just something to think about, guys. It's going to get really, really cold. If it's not really cold where you're at, it's going to get really cold until probably March. So. All right, on my way to meet a uh, Big Eater Mike. Well, um, we're going to be doing a Cookie Canucks challenge. If you if if you saw the Cookie Canucks that I've done, yes, they have three different challenges. One of them is a six pound total weight burger, which I did. They got a two person team, twelve pound total weight burger, and they have a four person, twenty four pound burger. I've done the six. Uh, now we're doing the twelve today, and uh, I got some pickles here. These are, let me see cherry lime pickles uh her friend rosie's going to be here you might have saw her on the uh cajun catfish uh company video um she she actually she's open-minded people she wasn't at first when she saw the pickles she goes kool-aid pickles she opened them up oh strawberry i think delicious she said so uh hopefully she brings my jar back rosie and uh here's some cherry limeades for her for christmas uh got my little coffee here got my bag so I'm about to head out in a little bit. Oh, I had to tell you this. I just told Tasha I lost a shoe at a uh, come back from Oregon trip um, at probably Nebraska. And it was at a, one of those places where you can sit out in scenery, uh, a viewpoint. I thought I lost a shoe there. And I like somebody probably thought somebody died here because I had my shoe off. I was trying to put gas in my car. It... Uh, yes, at a viewpoint. What I did was uh, I, I checked my, my, my Waze app. It said no gas station for 400 miles i had like 100 miles so i was like you know what i might need to get some gas well i filled up the tank and filled up my water bottles i had like four half gallon water bottles so i filled those up too so i had two gallons of water two gallons of gas so i had gas in the trunk i had the windows rolled down so the gas fumes inside but i pulled off there when i finally got uh, 80 miles out my tank so i can put the two gallons back in it and that's where i stopped off at the viewpoint first of all and to to relieve those bottles and myself uh but guess what i found yes my shoe was my shoe was actually in the car so i just brightened my day up so hey it's a little things in life that's what she said oh and when i get in the car i am definitely going to um, give her the third degree of why she messed my car up i know she didn't folks but i just want to mess with her that's what i do i'm good at that ask tasha uh they said the package arrived that i was going to tell you that i'm going to have her open it up on camera uh and i'm not going to tell you what it is i'm going to run around here and see if they put it in the front door who uses the front door anymore? Well, so it's delivered. Oh, there it is, it's hidden in the corner. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Okay guys, we will see this uh, unveiling of what this is after I get back from the challenge. <coughs> yeah, with this, what this was doing, um, and I've said in the other, this is, I can't even say it with both of them going because this one's trying to record too. But uh, what was going on, every time I shut these off, they was cutting on back and forth. And my electrical problem here, I'm going to get to the electrical thing in a minute. But I'm like, what is going on with this? Something is with the car and this, making it go off. And, uh, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, little ways down the road i i started this phone over because like man it's lagging mm -hmm. oh i'm sorry mm -hmm. it's, it's lagging so i start reset this phone when i reset this phone that's when this started happening so what i did was do your account with the you know i can't say it because it might be illegal so i did the account and your the account there had the cloud thing so what it did was 
start the phones back up because it reset my my my, my settings because I never reset it from when I when I switched it. Mm -hmm. So when I reset that, it resets that app. So now it'll turn these back on and upload the files because it was like SD card messed up. Mm -hmm. That's when he punched me. You gotta stop doing that. But uh, proof. I got proof. I know it's a something. But uh, but I um. I reset it so now the phones the gopros turn back on and upload to here but the sd card i had a, i swiped i actually deleted it because I, I didn't know what was going on so i turned it off and it deleted the file i had to format the file again but now i know it's, it's it's uploading to here like right now it's uploading to here but it's supposed to be i didn't ever set up the cloud thing so well, i didn't know what well, it did well i did that oh. So not searching for a GoPro, so it's searching for that one now. Mm -hmm. I think. I think I got both of them on there, but I'll, I'll see if it's searching if it's doing it. If it's not, I have to figure that one out. So the problem was your phone. No, the problem with nothing really. It just I didn't know that's what it did when I shut those off. It was shutting on by shutting back, turning back on by itself. And so it was shutting on to put the stuff on. It wasn't a problem. It was just a new feature I didn't know. Okay. So I just, so I know now. It'll shut back off when it's done. Okay, now getting to the problem with the, the engine light. I did talk to him already about this, and I told him I was going to ask you, because I know you work late nights, and you probably was out here. You probably ripped some spark plug wires or something out or something. You tampered my car. I was just, well, I was supposed to ask you, did you, instead of just telling you you did. I did. To keep me here. Because my light, my, my engine light came on, and. It's probably something crazy you did. Oh, divert, you diverted it. That means, yeah. No, truth sayer. <laughs> <laughs> truth sayer, I sound like a key master from yeah, Ghostbusters. That's what I am. I'm the gatekeeper. Key master of Gozer, Volkus Sildro, our lord of the Sebulia. Are you the gatekeeper? I'm a truth sayer. I'm the truth sayer. Oh, sorry, that <clears throat> I had a frog in my throat, so. Yeah, she is the truth sayer. What a liar. <laughs> what a liar. Yes, if you don't know who I am, I am 2% man. The rest, milk. Milk man. Or call me little. Oh, call me beating her up. Call me little half gallon milk, 2% milk man. I'm about to get my car. I'll gotta go. All right, GoPro, shut off. GoPro, stop recording. GoPro, stop recording. Okay, guys, if you have. Ooh, I said it again. Okay, guys, and all right. I say it a lot. Well, my my mom always say says it when I when I on the phone. Okay, or no, she says how she says it. Oh, I can't even think of it now. Well then, okay, all right. She says something. I, I don't, but she says it all the time. My grandmother says it too. Oh, um, great deal. When you're talking about when you're okay, or like when you're about to get off the phone, and you never get off the phone for like three hours, but she keeps saying that. I might think of it in a minute. Well, anyway, that had nothing to do with what I was saying. That's welcome to the vlog. That's what happens. Uh, you never know. Uh, wow. They're delivering mail. If you didn't, you don't see that, but that is a USPS truck on a tow truck. So the tow truck is delivering mail. See how my brain works? Outside the box. Way outside the box. Ask Tasha. No comment. Yeah. Color outside the lines. I color outside. <laughs> okay, I get that. I color outside the lines. All right. There's more space there. <laughs> um, Lines are just suggestions. Yes. Now back to what the heck I was even going to say. If you saw the six pound total weight. For the fifth time. For the fifth time. Let me get this all the time. Six pound total weight. And I know what I remember about this burger was there's a lot of pickles, wasn't there? On top, there was a, a sea of pickles, sliced pickles. And the big pickles. And I was about to talk about that, but somebody butted in. Thank you. Well, I need a co-host, since you don't have a channel yet. She has a channel, guys. You got to subscribe to it. It's in the 
all the way at the bottom of every description. I got another ring here. My wedding ring's on my right hand. I'm trying to keep it secret. There's nobody watching my video, so <laughs> they won't know. This is not just a regular ring. But it could be. Maybe she'll bend a fish hook and put a diamond in it. That would be a, a fancy. See, I think outside the box, people. Well, let me get back to what the heck I'm even talking about. This burger. Stop distracting me. But it's a, a, a big, juicy pickle. I need you to keep Juicy pickle. She, she, she stopped juicy. forgetting. She, she even didn't for, forgot what she was talking about. But I think the the, the, the the patty weighs half of whatever they did. I think the patty weighs three pounds and all the pickles weigh two point five pounds in the bun. No, but it's it's uh all of the lettuce. I think I got to pick last time. They said fries are putting a lot of vegetables on it. So they I said vegetables, right? I bring it along, she's pretty, so people watch the videos, okay? That's what I do. I use her for thumbnails. Freaking use her. It's out. It's out. I could not lie. Isn't that Sir Mix a lot? Like big butts and you can Whoa, she said it. That's why she likes me. My my lumpy pancakes. You like butts. Huh? I said you like butts. I like butts. Yeah. When did I say that? I don't look at butts. I don't look at nothing because I got a girlfriend. Do you see? Do you ever see me looking at butts? Secret is. If I knew the name, I mean, what vlog was that you was at that uh, that festival or whatever, and you were pulling that lady butt? Because it looked funny, maybe. It wasn't a no. It might have been on her back. It might have funny butt. It wasn't like, hey, look at <laughs> Oh, so that's, a, guys, I'm going to tell you a secret, and here's what you do, and I don't do this, but what you do is, I'm telling you a secret, so I, if I did it, it'll be no secret anymore. Duh. <clears throat> Excuse me. But this video is not about eating, guys, so don't even worry about that burger anymore. We're talking about butts. Well, I'm telling you to go. Huh? She was talking to the guy with asking you where they were telling you to go. Okay. Well, what you do is with your when you're with your woman, or if you're a man and you like, I mean, if you're a woman and you like looking at butts, whatever. If you're with your spouse and you want to look at a butt, what you do is say, look what they're wearing. And then they're both, you're both looking. So it's like, I'm not just looking, you're looking too. So, there you go. You're welcome in advance. So now when I, I'm actually really saying, look what they're wearing, you're going to think I'm looking at their butt. Ooh. Oh, guess who left this in the car? She don't want it. So she left it in my car. So this this means you can only use it in my car, right? So I'll put it up there. That wasn't the deal. That's it any time. There's no fine print. No, this is hers. I get I'm not I'm not an Indian giver. That's like the worst thing to give some Indian something and take it back. Or anybody. It's just called an Indian giver. And if that's racist, I'm part Indian, okay? Oh, the door, so it can fall out. If it falls out, it's not. I'm out of it. Not it's okay. gone. There's no replacement. There's no so even you exchange. Have no recollection of it. Like, ever no exists. recollection. I'm not politics. I'm not in politics, but no recollection. Okay. Let me start driving, and um, we're gonna start arguing in a minute. So let me cut this Hello. video off. Yes, I'm recording again. I didn't want to hear that. That's not even funny. Yes, it, it is. It turned off on me. I'm it trying to talk. Want to hear that no, well, I have something to say. I always have something to say. And that's what I was said before you cut me off. Oh, well, I had a Christmas present um, already for Jasper Tefnut on here. That's her daughter. Um, and her other daughter, um, in law, Brittany. Or should I say in law? I don't know. Is that rude to say in law? Okay, Brittany. Um, well, she didn't have that ready yet, so I didn't know that she was going to be here, you know, so I was like, you could have brought the Christmas present I brought up here. Well, somebody's didn't, somebody didn't have theirs ready, so they're not going to bring mine. Like, 
why fault me? Because I'm on top of the game. Where's it at? No, not I wasn't even getting I was getting a hat. So now I'm gonna say, hey, Merry Christmas. So she thinks she might think no, she might think this is her Christmas present. I should get it on camera and see how her reaction is. But she don't really care about, you know, like getting gifts, so she's really but she really likes hats. And she's different. What I'm gonna what I'm gonna tell her, should I sign this hat? What, what I'm going to tell her this hat represents is what I did on a live was a, about to eat a raw potato and she paid me $20 not to eat the raw potato. I was going to get $20 to eat it, but she paid me not to. So now it's, it's a thing that we got hashtag serious as a raw potato. That means she was serious. So serious as a raw potato. I know it's corny, but that's me. So this is an Idaho. So this is a serious as a raw potato hat one and only uh jasper teft not a hat but if you want to get it on ebay she might sell it i don't know it might be worth a lot <laughs> okay well help her and um, i'm i'm getting off here gopro stop recording it might shut up on me again just download another one Okay, um, there's another homeless guy here, and as you saw my other live, uh, that I, I, did I, no, you didn't even see that live yet, I mean that, um, that vlog yet, wow, this is going to be the same vlog, so I, I gave another guy a bag of these, she's pilfering through it, I'm trying to see what's in the bag and tell you guys, she's over being nosy, there's nothing illegal in here, but, uh, there's two pairs of socks. This is my buddy Mike had bought all this stuff. I'm not taking credit of buying it. He just, my, I got the easy part just handing out. Two pairs of socks, uh, a pair of gloves, like Ronald McDonald looks like. Uh, got a skull cap. You need to grab. Yeah, okay. I have some hand warmers in there. Maybe closer. Sorry, I, I, I'm not gonna pick another assistant. There's a $10 um, McDonald's uh, gift card, chapstick. And there's some candy in there, I think. Is that all of it? Yeah, candy. A little bit of candy. Um, so, and like I tell people, it's about to get cold. Oh, and, and my YouTube card. And if I'm if I'm petty for that, guys, I'm just going to be petty. I'm going to even life out. She knows about me. I'm going to do something really good, and then I'm going to screw it all up. So it just e equalizes out. Keep my feet on the ground and heads in, head in the clouds. That's what they call it. Okay. okay. That's what I call it. Make me feel better. Okay, one and a half miles there, and I will be seeing Big Eater Mike in a minute. Uh, well, in 20 minutes, probably. <laughs> Hopefully he's there. If not, I'm going to get me a partner right here. This man about you with. Yep, that's why I brought you with me. That's, that's called, uh, what's that called? That Security. Backup. Back, back that blank up. Put your back up. Use a blind up the one you back up. What? I thought you was going to Oh, Miss Hobbs laughed about that when I did that. I only have so much room in the car, folks. Stupid. All right, guys, he's going to start his live. I'm just going to tell you, uh, there's a lot of people here that I feel like Randy Santel right now. Um, totally. Yes, very. But uh, I'm going, we're going to be starting here in a little bit. Uh, we've got all our cameras set up. If you don't see the cameras set up, usually, uh, I, didn't, I didn't do that because I had a lot of stuff to do, but I got my 360 here. I'm on my GoPro, the 8 now, and I have an, an extra camera. You don't want to do a, you don't do, do a food challenge and look stupid and not get it on tape. So at least one of these, uh, I have my other phone on that one. But uh, yeah, you want to at least get it on tape when you do stupid stuff. Uh, you don't want to just do it and not get it on tape. So I'm going to go get set up here and I'll finish, finalize these, get these cameras going, and we are going to get it to eating. And this is the owner, Sean, here. Hey, what's going on, uh, everybody? How's everybody doing? Can you tell them what this is about? Like, it's not a 12-pound burger. It's a 12-pound total weight, but the burger... Yeah, okay, so this is the King Cucamonga Challenge. This is a six-pound patty sandwiched between two very large buns, approximately 12 inches in diameter. Lettuce, tomato, cheese, onion, pickle, total weight. 12 pounds over 18,000 calories. It's a two person challenge and they have one hour in which to do it. All right, and uh, the meal's for free if you can. Yeah, if you can do it all in one hour, and, it's on me. And if you can't, 
It's definitely on you. It, I, I, owe, I owe them my pride and I owe them how much about? Uh, well, I think we were what, $50, 50 $60, something plus like that. Tax, plus tax, plus tax. Plus tax, yes. Government, government needs theirs. <laughs> okay, guys, uh, we're going to get to eating. I appreciate it. And well, um, we're set up, ready to go. See you in a little bit. Okay, folks, this is the time. Let's open up this way so I want to see your address. There you go. I'm going to give her a knife. Oh, well, you don't need that. She knows about Amazon. This is what I forgot. I, I sent it to myself, but I put her name on it. This is from Florida. What is it? No, you not. Yes, I forgot my fanny pack at home, so I had to buy another fanny pack. This is a deluxe fanny pack. $15 fanny pack, not the $9.99. Flamingos. It has two different pockets on there, so I can carry accessories. I don't know who you're going to carry in which. She's going to be right beside me. You're going to see her next to me in the pictures. <laughs> All the pictures. <laughs> Probably see you by myself taking pictures in Florida. Like, didn't Tasha go with you? Like, yeah, but she didn't want to take a picture with me. Look at that. Look at that. Look how roomy that is. And you get a front pocket too. Sojourner bag. What is it called? Sojourner, like Sojourner True. So it's a special edition fanny pack that I didn't even know. Oh, and a hidden, a hidden dope money compartment. You got three freaking, man, this is deluxe. Styling and profiling. Who are you buying this for? We gonna see. <laughs> okay, both guys, there you go. I didn't tell you guys what it was, so I want to be a surprise to you and look at this big surprise. So you think you're gonna wear this with your palm tree shoes? It's, yes, it's, it's, uh, it's, uh, they're gonna know I'm a tourist. Why would you think you're gonna wear this? That's what tourists do. I didn't bring my, my, my palm tree shirt or nothing, so I might have to go to Walmart and buy one. We'll see. I don't know. I'm buying too much stuff already, like I'm rich. Well, I hope you'll be able to find it when it's time to go. Oh, hide and seek, huh? Okay. I'll probably hide it with the plane tickets. We'll find it then. Okay. Hey guys, I have hoodies in. The name brand are independent, so you know they are thick and high quality. I'm having them all the way from small to 3X, uh, only in black right now, so just go ahead and look in descriptions for that. Uh, I do have uh, t-shirts as well. The name brand of the t-shirts are canvas. Uh, they are thick, they are soft. The logo wipes off like a bib, just like on the hoodie. So if you want those, please check in descriptions. Uh, they all are pre-washed material, so they won't shrink on you. So check in descriptions for the price and the uh, shipping and handling of that, because I do ship in U.S. and in Canada. If you haven't already, um, hit follow on The Garbage Disposal on Facebook and follow me there to get more pictures and stuff. Uh, please subscribe to my page. Hit the notification bell to get notified of upcoming videos. And hit the like button if you like it. Other than that, please share it with your friends, family, and even your boss. Have a great day unless you made other plans. <laughs>